Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the wolves of all ages, F Wolf here, sitting right on in. So this is the, uh, this is in theory should be about the last of the recordings for today on, uh, this particular game. There's nothing there. Let's go talk to him real quick. I think you're lost, boy. Sorry, I didn't mean to dis... Wait a second. Look me in the eye and stop shivering for crying out loud. Huh. Black and blue. You're Lorden's family, ain't you? Yes, name is Rasimir. You must be Sambor, then. I don't remember him having an eye patch thing. And how do you know that? I was talking with, uh... Unigost, Unigo, Uni, Unigost, Unigost. He told me that you were a part of the, of the, of the reminders as well. Part of the what now? Um, the pack, the one with Unigost and Lorden. Never heard of this idiotic name in my life. Oh, sorry. Maybe I've mis made a mistake. What we called the Undying Fist. Oh, we were called the Undying Fist. Oh my, that's so much worse. Let's go a lot better name. I want to. I want to make this guy ha not hate me. <laughs> so you're damn right it is. That's because I came up with it. Everyone loved it. No idea why Unigost lied to you like that. I'm sure he was just jealous about your creativity. <laughs> of course he was. And not only about that. Oh, oh my. Anyway, I would like to hear some stories about my uncle and the Pax adventures altogether. That's an amazing coincidence because I would love to spend my time telling the old tales by the crackling fire. Oh my, really? No, leave my property and forget where it is. Oh, come on. It'll only take a moment. A moment of a moment, really. Just tell me what my uncle was like. How did you become part of the the Undying Fist? And um, what did you do exactly as the pack? You don't know what we did? Unigos didn't get to that part yet. I am not going to voice act all of that. I'm not doing this for them. You can pause and read if you want. I must say you're really an amazing storyteller. I wasn't expecting that. And what happened next? No way, you can't leave me like this. I can do whatever I want. Scram, I have things to do. Okay, let's dig up this clay real quick. What a deer figurine, huh? Simple house has now been unlocked. Another deer figurine. Neat. I have 12. 
He wants five. He's an old man, I can help him. Five, four, three, two, one. So let me get this straight. The plan was to get into the castle and lay with the queen. Exactly that. You were right. That is the most absurdly idiotic plan I've ever heard of. I told you, but it worked like a charm. I still don't get it. What worked? What was he accomplishing by that? I still don't get it. True hero. How did you join the pack? Right, I think I get the picture. Oh yes, I noticed the humble to the bone. Wait, what? They recruited the best there was. I was between jobs at the time, so I gave them a chance, and finally the pack started to really make a difference. But I don't like to brag. The sun doesn't prove itself bright. It was a great pleasure and a true on. Leave now and in return for giving away. Oh! Um, do you want me to hit him in the face? Did I stutter? <laughs> Last updated Unigos story. Deliver the knuckle sandwich to Unigos. Oh no, this is gonna. <laughs> Uh, there's where the uh, bandits were last episode. I did right at the end. Here are their corpses. They're, uh, they're just taking naps. Don't worry about it. I totally didn't put a spear in their face. Oh, yeah, there's one, one right there. <laughs> totally didn't just, you know, spear them to death. I, I, comp I, I swear, I, I went full Batman and just punched them to, uh, until they took a nap. A nap they're going to be taking for quite 
the rest of eternity. Um, I digress. Um, move it on. I love that I'm just finding resources on the ro on the sides of the road. I love it. Dude, these clothes are like just so dirty. Huh. Drink some water. Do I actually have to punch him? I really hope I don't. Lucembor. He's a real sweetheart, isn't he? The sweetest. Like a jar of honey. That's Sambor for ya. I see. He did tell me about my uncle, though. The story about the Lord of the Orchards. <laughs> he has some unexpectedly good storytelling skills, doesn't he? Yes, he actually, he, re he really does. I was downright astonished by that. One time, I swear he next uh, went for over a year without uh, speaking a single word. But when we were sitting by the fire, he remembered some anecdote laughed out loud and began his tale. Went from a total mute to a master of ceremonies. The narrative was so gripping it was hard not to listen. He even did voices. But after finishing he became silent again. I've never fully understood that side of him. A uh, theater genius trapped in the body of a bear wrestler. He actually asked me to give you something. Really? What was that... Knuckle sandwich. Yeah, that sounds exactly like Zebra. So, are you going to deliver? Do you want me to? Can't. I'm afraid I've lost it somewhere on the way. Smart lad. But if he asks, I'll tell him you knocked me out cold just out of curiosity. What did Zebra tell you about him becoming part of the pack? He said that you were looking for the best to recruit and that he was an obvious choice. Yeah, that seems like something he would say. Well, that clear... That was... Well, he was clearly full of crap. I'm uh, not going to continue reading. Listen. Please don't say... <laughs> Wait, what? There was a secret guild formed by a few of the higher ranking knights and barons. We called them the vendors. Bunch of really heartless. Mm. <clears throat> um, their most lucrative business was selling a living merchandise. And no, I'm not talking about animal. Oh God! Please don't say it. Yeah, no. I think I'm going to be sick. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can't really talk about this conversation. They, they've mentioned a no-no word that I really don't want to risk getting screwed with by YouTube. So, Let's 
the torturer. It was Sambor, wasn't it? Yes. I have no words. I'm sorry this happened to you. How could you want a person like that amongst your troop? So why didn't you blow him off? Which was... But couldn't you just pay him off or run away? That's incredible. Your lives, I mean. I don't think I would be able to handle all that. I'm not the type of person to get bored. There's always something to do. Compared to your stories, boring life sounds pleasant. Sure thing, what do you need? Uh, I need to go to the Barrowville, find a, uh, Ida and get my scythe back from her. Consider it done. I don't remember these stories, funnily enough. Let's see how quickly I can swim, I guess. Well, that was convenient. Just walk. Just walk through the river. Yeah. Hello, do I know you? Hello, Ida, I'm here for Unigoff Scythe. Take a hike, kid. I want it fair and square. One? Ha, huh, that little snake didn't even tell you about that, huh? That figures. I don't know what do you mean. He only wanted me to get his scythe back. It's my scythe now. Okay, okay, relax. What can I do to get your scythe, then? You can buy it from me, of course, or we could play for it. What's the game? The same that made Unigas lose his own money and his science. <laughs> the game of riddles. How's it played? Simple. I tell you three riddles. You must answer all of them correctly. One mistake, and the game is over. You win and get the scythe. And if I lose? Simple. Oh, wait. I didn't go through. Okay, there we go. I'll go easy on you this time. If you lose, you don't owe me anything. You just forfeit the chance of getting the scythe back for free. Okay, hit me with the riddles. First one. What disappears the second you say its name? Silence. Correct. Ready for the next one. Uh, here it is. Feed me and I live. Give me a drink and I die. What am I? Fire. Oh, you're good. Better than Mr. Big Castilian already. But can you get the final one? Listen carefully. I can fly, but have no wings. I can cry, but I have no eyes. Wherever I go... Darkness follows me. What am I? A cloud. Dang, you're sharp. Congratulations, you win an old man's creepy scythe. It doesn't get better than that. Thanks for the game. I had fun. Take care. And here I thought you're gooey... You're going to present me with a challenge. Well, good luck finding more fo fools. Goodbye. No, I'm not going to do that. That's just being an ass. Good 
Glug. 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 I don't remember getting this dirty so often on the on the old saves. Dang, I didn't get to him in time. Hey, Unigast, I got your scythe. Swindid, were there any troubles on the way? You tell me, were there? I might have left a teeny tiny detail out. You don't say! How did you manage to get my scythe then? With wits? You're brighter than I was then. Was there ever any doubt? Don't be cocky, kid. Anyway, I have news. Sambor is looking for you. For me? Are you sure? I've been told he asked about the one with the funny eyes and stupid face. I see. Okay, then I won't prolong this humiliation and we'll go find him. Oh my god! That is mean! Oh, let's get this over with. I found ducks. Um, I would hope I found. Oh, what's this perch? Hmm. We can actually get like hunting trophies and stuff now. Hold on, I want to see when this decides to go away. Right there, okay. So about shoulder height. We haven't slept in our own bed for a while. What the flying freak? Run away! <laughs> I tried to stand and deliver, but I failed miserably. I must run away! I must make like the French and run away! Men! Oh my god, I love that meme from the uh, how different countries around the world play Armor 3. No, leave me alone, you stupid wolf. What took you so long? Hello, I've heard that you were looking for me. You need to kill it. Whoa, whoa, easy. What are you talking about? 
The blasted owl, of course. Can't you hear it? What owl? I don't hear anything. Are you deaf? How can you not hear it? I can't stand it. Try to calm down and describe the problem to me if you want my help. I can't sleep because that damned bird. It hoots and it toots and it hoots. I want it dead. Why can't you deal with it yourself? I, I don't hunt anymore. Are you serious? You literally live in a hunter's lodge. I didn't build this place. The hunter died a while ago and I just took it. Like it. I like it. At least I did before the bloody owl showed up. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking. I do mind you asking. Do you buy your meat now? I don't see you keeping any animals. Listen to me, you little brat. I don't have to explain myself to you. Not now and not ever. But if... It will make you shut up. No, I don't buy my any meat lately. I tend to eat mostly vegetables and grains. That's exactly what my food eats. Damn, you're so annoying. Ah. During my life, I did some things, bad things, things that shouldn't have been done, no, nor by me or nor by anyone. It changed when I met your uncle. He held me atone, at least in some way. Continue. So when our ways parted, I made a promise to myself. No more violence, no more blood on my hands. But if you keep getting on my nerves, I may revoke my promise. Do you want that? Excuse me, dear sir. I have an owl to hunt. I also have some, like, herbs to hunt, because I need my HP back. That's nightshade. I don't need that. Oh, there's no real stuff on here. How the hell am I supposed to see that dang owl? You know what? Screw you. Graphics. Where is this damn thing? Go away, I'm working. What are you doing here? It's none of your business. Oh, I believe it is. You're the damn now, aren't you? No idea what you're talking about, mate. I didn't I'd leave if I were you. Apples. Do you even know what you're doing? Yeah. Earning the easiest coins in my life. That's all that matters to me. Oh, really? Well, just... Ha well, I've just been sent to kill the this noisy owl. Are you trying to threaten me? Be very careful of your next words. Not at all. It's not you who should 
It's not me you should be afraid of, but my employer. Yeah, and who's that supposed to be? Sambor. Well, I don't have any... Uh, any... Sa I don't know any... Sa Wait, did you say Sambor? That's right. Listen, man, I, I, I don't want any trouble. I was just hired to come here from time to time and pretend to be an owl. I have no idea I was crossing your boss. I'll, I'll, I'll leave and never come back. Please, just let me be. Uh, you think you can just walk away from something like this? Sambor is pissed. Just let me go. I'm begging you. I'll do whatever you want. First of all, tell me who hired you. It was Walrad. He lives in a place called Tukai. That's all I know, I swear. Okay, I might try to convince Sambor to go easy on you, but I would need something from you for it. Anything. I want everything that Wolrad paid you. Tell me a joke. Okay, I just took all his money and his shoes. <laughs> oh, that's freaking rich. I love it. Ah. Uh, what does he want? I'm working. My brother is sending me messages on Facebook Messenger. And it is in in my way. It's very distracting. He's gone. Now he's he's not dead, but he's gone. He'll come back. He. I know it's that it will sound mental, but that wasn't really an L. It was a me. It was a man hired to pretend to be in one. What are you talking about? It's absurd. Believe me. I know he was supposed to be hired by a man called Walrad. Do you know him? <laughs> that son of a. Burp. <laughs> you really got me. So you do. Of course I know him. He was one of us. The Undying Fist. Was it really the owl said that he lives in a place called Tutki? Yes, it's not far from here. He lives there with his family selling donkeys. I guess that fits because he was one. Uh, he was always in an owl. Oh, okay. I would love to meet him. And you will because you'll deliver a parcel to him for me. Um, no problem. What is it? Let me guess. Is it another knuckle sandwich? No. This time it's a real gift. And what's that? A special surprise, but you need to come back later. I need some time to prepare it, actually. Come back tomorrow. I'll make it 
uh, grander. All right, see you tomorrow. Now I gotta get to my house. Alive! Okay, I'm at 42% health. I can at least take a hit or one or two hits at least. But like, holy cow, I need to, we need to go home. Like really badly, I need to get back to the base. That big buffalo thing really did a number on me. I don't know what that was, but running into that in the middle of the night is not something I will ever want to do again. Um, <laughs> owie, <laughs> I think it's a big meanie, it picked on me, if anyone knows what that thing is, please let me know in the chat, not the chat, the comment section, I'm used to being alive when I do this stuff, kind of really used to it. Excuse me. There's my house. Live near my village. Let's go check out my rabbit trap. Here somewhere. Rabbit trap behind me. Ah, oh, yes. There it is. Indeed, we have a rabbit. Indeed, 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 we have a bunny rabbit. One rabbit, and it did a uh, full blown um, almost 50%. Well, that would be tomorrow. My character desperately needs the heal, and sleeping on it would do the trick, that's for sure. Oh, you don't lose any hunger or anything anymore when you sleep. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. You know, let's go see if there's anyone down here who's courtable and see if we can't, you know, flirt our way into a relationship with her. It is winter. Brr. Hello there. She's bound to be married. 
Yep. Hey, well. See you soon. After a certain age, they're just all married. Be welcome, stranger. Like, hmm, maybe not her. Sorry, I'm not looking for a partner, but I heard that travelers that usually sit by the campfire do. Oh, okay. Thank you for the tip, my lady. Uh, wife. Yeah. Finding a wife is the first step to secure your dynasty survival. Your future spouse will move into your house and aid you in various tasks. One day she may provide you with an heir, but nothing comes easy. First you will have to win her heart. Yep, that's kind of what I'm doing. What about you, madam? Okay, so I can court her. Hello, stranger. I've been wandering around the valley for some time now. I'm still looking for a place to settle, though. What can I do for you? Have you heard anything interesting lately? Tuki, that's where someone needs your help. Have a good day. Hmm, not the kind of character I would want for my wife. Let's see if she goes and sits down. Nope. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> so adorable. A newcomer. Hello there. Oh, wow. She's already married. That's um, interesting. Okay, well, no one here, so at least no one here of interest. So, uh, where's this Tuki, anyways? Oh, oh, <laughs> nearby. <laughs> sure. That's like a full day trip. I'm wondering if that thing we've encountered would be considered a something I could get a trophy, like um, what's it called? A hunting trophy for if I kill it. Because I want revenge. I'm just running through the woods and then I bump into that thing and it practically tries to murderize me. Yeah, I still don't know why I still see all their name tags and stuff over there. That's driving me nuts. Parcel ready? Yes, all nice, warm, and ready. Did you say warm? No, did you? I'm pretty sure that. Here it is. Go to Tutki uh, and give it to him. Give it to Warland himself, as you wish. I have a feeling he pooped in the whatever this is. My gut says this is a bag full of poop. That's just what I'm thinking.
So this is bound to be the... Let me check the time. Yeah, this is going to be the last thing for the... Uh, this will be taking a little while, so this can probably... The, this is more than likely going to be the last thing I do. I'm probably going to do some more building off camera. I don't feel like too many people will like the building aspect, or at least like seeing it. Oh, there's a tiny little stream here. Okay. Didn't see that on the map before, but okay. <sighs> it's only six o'clock and I'm tired. Hmm. Well, seven o'clock technically. Anyone in here that might be of interest? Only one yacht, one person at the Traveler. Bless you, kid! And, um, it's a dude, so... It's gonna be a big fat nope. Pigeons. Lovely. I'm going to hunt down one of those white-tailed eagles just to see what it looks like. Well, I'll be damned. Excuse me? One is the uh, one is bright the other dark both filled with a spark your eyes you must be Rassam um Rassamer. well it's actually Ressi Ressi never mind how do you know my name I know your uncle lord and besides I've always been good with names Ranagast oh my god what are you doing here I would never think to see you in the flash. Sambor sent me to you. He has to deliver this parcel. Oh, my sweet child. I would throw that away immediately if I were you. What? Why? Well, taking that I know this guy for over 20 years and that I can smell the this parcel from over here, I guarantee you that it contains his... I called it! Girls, what the heck is wrong with him? <laughs> well, he couldn't fool a master prankster, but he sure pulled a number on you. A number two. <laughs> That's extremely childish. Thank you. Oh my god, this poor this guy. I'm going to... I'm going... I'm doing my best to stay in a good shape. That was not supposed to be a compliment. 
Anyway, I hope that bag of <laughs> was not only the only thing bringing you to me. Of course not. I've actually been talking with Unagost and Sambor about the pack. See, so, okay. Monica was like stealing. What? I'm just gonna skim through this. I don't really like this quest line. I, I, I feel like it would be a lot better if it had voice acting already. It. Why not? I don't plan to come here that often. You've got to be freaking. You've got to be freaking kidding. He wants a thousand logs. I am regretting that. I'm already regretting my choices. Oh, look at Donkey. Oh, timber! Well, that didn't hurt Donkey. That's a good sign. Son of a gun, why does he want a thousand logs? Bro, this is a prank. I'm going to be very annoyed. Yep, so this it's things like this that want me to find cheat codes at this point, you know? I all of a sudden like now I want to find cheats because a thousand logs, good lord almighty. Okay. This better not be a freaking prank, man. I mean, yeah, my skills will go up and yada, 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 but really? 1,000. I cannot explain how flabbergasted this is. I don't even think there's enough trees for 1,000. Well, actually, it'd be uh, like 100, it'd be 500 logs or something. 500 trees. Be a thousand, yeah. Well, he wants me to deforest the whole area, I guess. I don't know. The worst part is, is these are not even the right trees for this kind of task.
I could understand like a hundred logs or maybe two hundred, but a thousand. Bro, this is. This is a whoa, Nelly kind of mission. I think I picked up that random stone axe I, from before. I've picked up two stone axes throughout my questing here. I don't even know how much uh, wood logs I have, but after this, a thousand is enough to build a whole village and then some. Like, good God. This man is insane. How much do I even have? 29. Of a single plank, too. Yeah, this is going to be a long, long, long time of a quest. You know what? Oh, but those are birch. Those are good birch. Some of those. Son of a gun. If I show up to him with a thousand logs, I will. S and he pulls the whole. Oh, this, it was just a prank, bro. Kind of deal. I'm gonna lose it. I refuse to use any of my good axes if I can avoid it. And this, everyone, is why you just keep collecting tree logs all the time. I know this was going to be the last thing you guys see. It's just me sitting here trying to collect tree logs. Forty-five. This axe is pretty much dead already. Rah. I need better trees.
Ah. Hmm. Okay. Guess we'll use my wooden axe. One of my uh, other axes. Oh, wait. I really don't like birch trees. Getting logs from birch trees is just nothing but pain. I'm gonna look up about how getting trees and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna look stuff up now. What is this, four? Yeah, this is four. Uh, we're only about halfway through. I'm gonna be honest, I want to do the thousand, but it's like, holy crud. The thing is saying to talk to him again, and the quest will change. I swear I picked up like a copper axe somewhere at one point. My computer's just like screaming bloody murder at me right now. Stop going down hill. Give. You know what? I give up. Kill my crow. Huh. 
Her name is Malaya Mar Marila. Uh, she st stopped giving milk. Oh, cow! Oh! Hello, you're Walrin's wife, I presume. That's me, Amanda. And you are? My name is Resimator. I'm Lord, uh, Lord Lorden's nephew. Or was, rather was. I'm so sorry, honey. I've never met your uncle, but Walrin and him sure were close friends. What can I help you with? I'm actually here to help you with your problem. Walrin told me about the... Well, Marila. Finally, thank you for that. Come back to me when it's done. I'll reward you with a little something. I'll do that. Deal with the cow situation. Um, what? Uh What's going on here? <coughs> and it also can be found in Tukti at the stable keep. After you have talked to both Amanda and Tukti, return to go stone via speak to Unigost. She, it wants me to deliver 30 meat to her, okay. That's a donkey, donkey. Female donkey. Male donkey. Male donkey. Female donkey. Okay, where's this cow at? Cow over here? Nah, can't be. Where's this cow? <laughs> this person is not interested in talking to you. Yeah, buzz off.
Weblor. Okay, where the heck is this cow? Deal with the cow situation. Okay, we've unlocked a uh, kitchen one. Well, you can buzz right off, lady. Till the next day. Come here. Let me talk to you. How is life treating you? The winter is coming and we have no food. Store last storm destroyed our cultivation. Could you please bring us some grain? so we can survive the winter. Grain? I don't have any grain. I can't spare that. I killed it. What about the story about the pack, then? Naturally, a deal is a deal, my friend, before... Yep, continue. Continue. done well he told me to kill the cow I killed the cow and now he's saying that's not what he wanted ugh I'm not ever going back there ever never ever ever again do I want to go back there I'm probably going to make episode f f 6 after this, but uh, right now I'm just trying to um, get to a reasonable area. What are we at? Uh, we're at an hour 15. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ladies. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. Remember to please like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I'm trying to get to at least 150 by the end of the year, and we're already at the end of quarter one. So I'll see you all next time. I'll follow Saturn on out.